Today, we do celebrate the second Sunday of Easter, which is known as a Divine Mercy Sunday. I was thinking what I'm going to share with you on this occasion. And I will start like this. When I was a small boy, I was so blessed to be born in the city of Krakow in Poland, where all of that stuff began. And I didn't know. I remember my parents, my brother, and myself walking many times by the shrine of divine mercy, the small one, not the big one which was built later, passing by that shrine without knowing that in few years to come, it's going to become the world nation prayer to divine mercy of Jesus. We went for walk on Sundays, Fridays, without knowing. Later, in 2016, when Bishop Brzezinski, myself, and others went for, to Poland for World Youth Days with Pope Francis, our one of the stations was to stop at the Divine Mercy Shrine. At that time, smaller one and bigger one. It was so moving to see a lot of young people praying in the front of Divine Mercy picture and image. But what this whole Divine Mercy Sunday is all about it. We heard in the gospel today, Thomas called Didymus one of the 12, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples said to him, we have seen the Lord. But he said to them, unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands and put my finger into the nail marks and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Now a week later, his disciples were again inside, and Thomas was with them. Jesus came, although the doors were locked, and stood in their midst and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger in and see my hands, and bring your hand and pull into my side, and do not be unbelieving, but believe. Message of the Divine Mercy Sunday, it's about the second chance to second chance to us to recognize Jesus and God himself in our lives on our daily basis. Sometimes, probably like from my story, we're passing by the church, by the shrine, or by the opportunities to recognize God in our lives without knowing. That's the second chance. Divine Mercy Sunday shows us that Jesus appeared to, to Thomas to show to him his hands and his sight, and he asked him to believe in him. That's the opportunity for us to reflect on our lives during this Easter season, to see it where we can or should improve ourselves. Maybe sometimes we're passing by the person who needs our help at the grocery store. Maybe during this COVID-19, we see someone struggling with different kinds of anxiety, of depression. Maybe we should call that person up and check on that person. Maybe in our relationship, in our families, between parents and children, and grandparents and grandchildren, wife and husband, maybe even something they're missing that we can improve. That's our second chance, to recognize Jesus and his mercy in others. And most of all, our second chance to those, and it's a lot of people like that, we do not know why we believe. To turn to Jesus and say to him, it is hard for me to believe. I did suffer so much in my life. I don't know why. Ask Jesus himself and say, I do believe in you because you gave me a second chance to understand your message through the scripture, through the examples of others, and through my life and my exactly experience through the life. Second part of this is second chance to others. A lot of times we receive the second chance in our lives, but we are not giving that second chance to others. To those they did something maybe not right to us, we turn away from them. We turn our back to them and we don't care sometimes what they do. That means the message of Divine Mercy Sunday is a double message. To recognize our second chance given to us 
by God himself to grow in our faith and in our relationship with others, but also to remind ourselves that because we received that second ch chance, we need to give it that second chance to others in our families, neighborhoods, and places we live. Everyone deserved a second chance. I do love the image of Jesus sitting on the bench with the man and just talking to him. We don't know what he's talking about. But on the end of this day, I truly encourage you to imagine yourself sitting next to Jesus on that bench and think about it. What kind of answer you are going to give to Jesus when he is going to ask you, I gave you a second chance. What did you do with those? They offended you and maybe they were nice to you. To receive the mercy from God, we have to extend our mercy to others. Amen.